Nigel Daggett's warrior was making a steady start in the top ten over the first two stages, but nobody was able to keep up with the flying Simbergini of Stephanie and Rachel Simonite, fastest by far. Despite the obvious cosmetic differences among the vehicles, they all have two major points in common. All of the runners on the hill rally are four-wheel drive. Mind you, they need to be to cope with these conditions. They also need to be road legal, because although the rally is run entirely on private land, the cars need to use public roads to travel between the stages. David Simonite was keeping well in the top ten on the early sections. Mind you, you can have four-wheel drive, diff locks and any other apparatus you like, but there is a certain brand of Welsh mud that will stick to anything and everything, as Paul Wood was about to discover. It was one of those typical Welsh October days, with an annoying blend of wind and heavy rain. One thing was certain, as the day went on, conditions were not going to get better. In fact, they got considerably worse. This is Carl Hubel. <laughs> 